All right, so hello and welcome back. Um, today is a wonderful day. There is a lot that I want to actually talk about today. The first thing that I wanted to talk about is, first of all, is the importance of, of knowing, um, maybe I should change the place of the camera, but the importance of knowing how to do a poker face. It's very important that you understand this art poker face, meaning that if you're having a good day, you look the same as if you're having a bad day. So basically, no one can tell what's going on inside of you. That is a very important thing, and I feel like um, a lot of people underestimate that, and a lot of the time, society always wants you to um, act like you're, you know, for women, you know, it's okay to cry, blah, blah, blah. Showing your, your weaknesses is never okay. Showing your weaknesses is never okay. If you're in high statuses, if you're trying to pursue a much higher degree, crying and emotions are looked at as a weakness. It's always, you know, society gives the best attributes to men, which is never crying, being strong, all these things. But I think that a woman and a man, right now, I feel like the roles have really changed. I feel like a lot of the time, men right now are actually more relatable and a lot more emotional than women I feel like just my personal experience um, but a lot of the time women are it's also more acceptable for them to burst out crying or all these things however for both humans for both um, genders crying is not okay in public um, it's not okay of course if you're in like a workplace or whatever yes it's more not okay but if you're in like genuinely like just traveling and you wanted to cry it's really people are not really that important it's not like um, they're very important but it's just for you for you to be more comfortable make sure you find a place um, where you don't where you show these emotions but also it's very important that you realize that you must maintain a poker face you shouldn't look like you were um, what is it called you're sad I feel like a lot of the times, for me, for example, I have a sad vibe even when I'm not sad, which is quite, um, which sucks, but I'm really trying to work on it to look, um, you know, at least of average emotions when I'm like walking around. I feel like I give off a vibe of um, somebody who's like depressed, but I'm not depressed at all. Sometimes I, you know, regular human emotions, which is feeling sad every once in a while, but I don't feel you know, sad all the time, but I feel like I give off that vibe. So that's another thing. When you have a resting or a resting, um, they call it RBF, RBF, that, and also there's another resting uh, sad face. And then a lot of people have resting like like this, like this how they look like all the time, or like this. So um, yeah, something that I wanted to talk about. Amount of carelessness for sure. Like whenever you are um, in the presence of a, people that you know will be with you for a long time, whether it is classmates, whether it is uh, extended family members, you should never feel the urge to um, to like be constricted by their presence. They they mean nothing. Um, they really don't. So you just do what you want, and that's the most important thing. Um, something else is the be less involved, I should say. Be less involved. Um, and yeah, I'm going to end the video here. I just woke up, by the way, and I'm feeling 